Hi, this is Mauricio Maestrana. Um, I'm going to show you another cool project using a, an Arduino. This cheap $25 uh, microcontroller. So what this project does is uh, it uses the Launchpad S or Launchpad Mini. I, I don't know if, if it works in the original Launchpad, but it will uh, use it as standalone unit. You, you don't need a computer. So this is a cool thing here. You don't need a computer to use uh, um, the Launchpad. Uh, just like in the Launchpad Pro, the new one that it's just released. And, but um, uh, it has some cool, future, cool features that the new Launchpad doesn't have. Like for example, uh, the session button right here, if I go to the first one, I have the major scale. So the yellow, uh, the yellow pads uh, show me which is the root note. The green pad is uh, the fifth of the root. So uh, if I go to the second session mode, I go to the minor scale. And if I go to the third one, I have a gypsy or a flamenco scale. This is my favorite scale. And if you go, we go lower, the, the next one is um, a blues scale. And the next one, we have here the chromatic scale. So. So the, the, the pads are ordered just like in the push, so uh, you can easily um, make some figures uh, in, in, in the scales with, uh, without having to know uh, a lot of, of scale. So that's a cool feature and here we have the octave selection. For example, right now it's in this octave, if I want to go lower I just click the, the, down, the down button here. And the other way, you can see that the, the colors are changing depending on the scale. So this indicates me which scale am I. If both are green are on the C4 is this one of them. And yellow down is scale uh, lower and red is a scale lower than that. And up is the same thing. Uh, another thing I can do, I can change the root note. For example, right now I'm in C. This is C, but I can go uh, uh, I can go up to C sharp to D, and you get the idea. This, this but this colors change to the indicate which which uh, root note you you selected. So I'm going back to to, to C, and these three buttons here. I don't know if this shows up uh, right in the video, but these are like orange buttons and one yellow that that tell me which channel is selected. So I have three channels. The first channel here, I have the my, the the mini brute, Arturia mini brute, there. So if I ch choose that one, I'm, I'm using the the mini brute. If I go to to the next channel, I'm using the Novation uh, mini nova. So you have three selectable channels that I think is uh, channel 10, MIDI channel 10, MIDI channel 11, and MIDI channel 12. And this button right here is, is a panic button. So it, it will turn off, uh, if a, sounds, a sound gets stuck, it will turn it off like, for example, I can turn it this and then I change the octave, it will continue to, to play the sound. So if I click this one, the sound will stop. Uh, so that's it, and now let's go to what you need to, to make this happen. Uh, as I, I told you, I do need the Arduino Uno or Mega, hardware-wise. You need uh, uh, a, a shield, US, USB host shield, that you can buy at circuitsathome.com. 
If you live in Mexico, you can buy it from MercadoLibre.com. Uh, and that's about it. That's about it. And you, uh, software-wise, I'm gonna put uh, a link to my Git, GitHub uh, to my GitHub um, page, so you can download uh, the files for for the Arduino Uno. The, the, the Arduino Uno is inside this box, and inside it looks something like this. So you don't need this electronics, this was for another project. You just need the shield and the Arduino Uno. So I hope you enjoy it. I think it's very cool. Uh, I forgot something. If I click this yellow one, it goes into a drum pad mode. Yep. So I'm gonna play something just to show you what this does. Thank mm -hmm. you.